Hey everybody, how's it going? I uh, figured I'd share this video today of how I made this American Classic rollerball style pin. Um, bear with me, this is, uh, I I'm still new to this whole process, recording video and voice, so uh, anyways, I'll get started. Um, sorting out all the pin parts here and sanding, sanding the brass tubes. Uh, I sand the brass tubes in order for the glue or epoxy resin in my case to uh, stick to the brass tube when you glue it in to the, uh, the wood. And right here I'm just slicing up the pin blinks. And I don't know if you saw uh, a few seconds ago, I put a little cross in the middle with the uh, pin and that indicated my grain where my grain direction match was. I'll explain that in some other videos. but. Uh, just drilling the holes now. I mounted them on the lathe with a uh, pin jaw chuck and using a uh, drill bit attached to the uh, Jacobs chuck. And this allows me to drill a perfectly straight hole um, through the hole blank. And I uh, can't remember, I think it's like a 10 millimeter size drill, drill bit. And here I'm just throwing some duct tape down uh, to protect the workbench a little bit and uh, spread the glue on there. Uh, it is a workbench, I guess, it doesn't matter, but if you do this you know, a hundred times, your workbench is gonna have a lot of glue built up on it, so why not protect it as best you can? And uh, so, and it's easy to clean up. You just roll it up and toss it away. So I didn't show the process of mounting this on the lathe, on the mandrel. Uh, it, it's pretty easy though, like I said, I, I'll do some other videos and maybe get a little bit more in depth. This was just more of a, I guess, just 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 to share with you guys how I made this. Um, and I guess the only reason I'm doing narration is because I don't want the video to be silent. And I'm too cheap to pay for any open source music. I was taking a look and it's pretty expensive. Uh, plus, even still, you got to worry about all the stupid laws and stuff. So why not? You guys get to hear my sexy voice. <laughs> so. Uh, so I'm just finishing up here, uh, getting these uh, wood blanks to final shape, and uh, I'm using Easy Wood Tools. They're uh, carbide tip cutters. Um, I do have traditional tools, and I do use them, but these just seem a lot easier and faster. Uh, using the calipers here to measure uh, a piece that uh, I need to glue on some hardware for the pin. Yeah. It's a brass, or not brass, whatever, metal calf, I don't know. Um, and here I'm just sanding it, and I sand it up to 600 grit. I don't film the whole process here of sanding, because it's honestly just kind of boring. But I do sand up to 600, and also I forgot to film me polishing this up with, uh, I, I used friction polish to polish it, to bring it to a shine. And I apologize, I didn't, I didn't record that. And as I do with all wood projects on the lathe, I, I stop and sand in the direction of the grain to help get some of those rotational scratches out, I guess you call them. Um, so anyways, here I'm just uh, pressing all the pin parts together on the brass tube, or the brass, the, the pin, <laughs> pin blanks. Uh, normally I use different process. I use my drill press or in some cases the lathe. But since I was filming it was just a big open area on my, my workbench here that I can put my camera and put everything down to show you guys and the clamp just seemed to be better. And, and it did work out pretty good in the end because it has those uh, rubber pads on both sides, those yellow rubber pads. So it, it, it helps, uh, doesn't mar up the, the pin parts. So it worked out to be pretty good. Um, and and when I do put this pin together, I am I do mind the uh, the grain orientation. So when you do put it back together, the, the grain kind of fits both sides. And so here I'm just testing the fit, making sure all is well. These, once you put these in here, these these pieces, y you're pressing them in. So it's it's not impossible to get them out. Uh, you can get some tools. You, there's certain tools you can get, buy. You can you can even just figure it out yourself. But it's pretty difficult, and you can you risk ruining 
uh, the pin parts and th th these things aren't cheap the pin kits are pretty expensive uh, there are some cheap ones out there but uh, this particular pin kit's not very cheap um, some of the pieces I put glue on just to just to make sure and this one called for it on that piece actually but um, yeah not much else to say here I'm not gonna go real in depth in this is just <laughs> as you can see I fast forwarded this and just add some narration here to explain a little bit what I did um, if you guys want to see more videos like this I would love to make some more on, on not just pins or anything or anything that I do maybe get a little bit more in depth I'm not sure but there's finished pin and uh, it's made out of Bolivian rosewood by the way if, if anyone cares and uh, yeah leave some comments and suggestions and uh, I'd love to make some more videos thanks